Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial in which we are going to learn how to create this seamless pattern. You can use this pattern for various invitations and you can even apply them onto fabrics. Okay, so let's begin by going into um, Illustrator and creating a new file. So I'll click on File, New, and ensure that my artboard side is 297 by 210 millimeters and has a landscape or orientation. Then I'll click on Create. Now we have a new artboard. So the first thing I want to do is create a grid in which our out of which we are going to create our design so i'm going to pick my pen tool and ensure that the fill is none so with the pen tool selected i draw a vertical line press escape now i make a duplicate by clicking and dragging holding alt and shift just to create a duplicate here like this and with the duplicate still selected I press ctrl D repeatedly till I get 13 lines 13 vertical lines now I select everything and I pick my rotation tool this is a rotation tool and then I have to ensure that first let's make sure our lines or our lines we've created are centered. Let's align them to let's group them first and align them to the center of the artboard like this. Great. Now select them once again. Pick your rotation tool. And let's ensure the Rotation it's in the center. Of the line, the center of the middle line, it's 13 lines, so you should have six lines on each side with the rotation icon showing on the center of the middle line. Now hold down Alt and click twice. So I have my rotation dialog and I ensure that my angle in here should be 60 here 60 degrees and I click copy and I want to create another duplicate so I press ctrl D and make another copy now we select everything the whole grid and then we pick our shape builder tool to start drawing the shape that we need out of this so with our grid selected we begin with drawing our shape you can count like three triangles from here one two three and then begin from here then we go up this way and then we go down to our left and then from this point we further go down vertically like this so we have a shape so we can change the color of our shape First, we need to ungroup. So we have a shape isolated. And then we change the color here to black for the meantime. Now we need to change this to a gradient. So I'll go to my gradient panel here. Click on the default gradient and change the left slider to bright green. And we can maintain this as black. Now we still need a grid, so we are not going to delete it now. 
So what we are going to do is pick our rotation tool. But we select the shape that we've created, pick the rotation tool once again, and then select the crosshairs and drop it just beneath where we began the shape from here. I'm going to hold on or click, hold down Alt and click on the crosshairs twice. We have our rotation diagram again. Ensure that the angle is 60 degrees and click copy. I'm going to create duplicates. So I fill out the entire rotation by pressing Ctrl D repeatedly. Now we can delete the grid by clicking on any of the groups we've created. Go to select same fill and stroke and press delete on your keyboard now we need to take out the outline from the design so we select everything go to the color palette at the top and for the outline or the stroke select none now we select everything right click group and then we resize so next we need to create a pattern using the design or the shape we've just created so what i'm going to do is select the shape let me increase the size a little bit then i'm going to go into window Pattern options. I have this menu here, and there's a context menu here which I need to click on and select Make Pattern. Click OK for this to go away. Then I'm going to change the tile type to hex by column, and the number of copies I'm going to change to 9 by 9. Now we want the ends of the design to intersect, so we are going to make changes to the width and height, which we have here. So I'm going to try and increase the height and see the width first and see what happens. Increase it to 70, 70 goes beyond, goes beyond it, so I think I need to bring it back a bit. to say 65 yeah so 65 brings it nearer keep reducing it 64 64 is almost there so now I need to work on the height as well so that these ends will also meet each other so I need to reduce the height to say 60 let me take off all these decimals and then just tweet 60 Okay, they still need to meet. I'll reduce it further to 57. We're almost there. 56. 55. And I think we are good to go. But let's increase the size. I press Ctrl and the plus sign to get this to zoom in. And let's check on the width. I think this is okay. I think there's a small overlap here. So let's increase it by 55.2. Let's go like 55.5. Okay, I think I'm increasing the height instead. So let me just maintain my height as 55. And let's deal with the width instead. 64.2 no that one goes further away i think it's not good enough so so let's do 63.8 i think 63.8 perfectly fits in so when you are done and collapse your pattern 
dialog and then click done. So we have a pattern in our color palette. It should be situated here. Yeah, there we have it over here. New pattern. Ooh, okay. So back to normal size. Now let's create a rectangle. I'm using dark green. And I'll create a copy. Edit, copy, edit, paste in front. Now with the one I've pasted in front, I need to change the color to the pattern we've just created. So I click on the pattern. And voila, we have our seamless pattern created. Now you can try this on other shapes as well and see the kind of exciting patterns you can come out with. This is suitable for a fabric. And as I said earlier, you can use it for backgrounds of your e-flyers and invitation cards as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can leave a like or a comment, or you can even add suggestions. So till we meet in our next tutorial, it's bye.